Multi-leaders allow me to add leader-based information to my drawings. These are created all as one unit, like when I'm using my dimensions. A leader consists of an arrowhead, a leader line, a landing, and text-based information or some other type of information associated with the leader. Like my dimensions, multi-leaders are style-based in setting their variables. Here on the multi-leader palette, on my annotate tab, I am showing the current uh, multi-leader style, and I have my multi-leader style manager. The multi-leader style manager allows me to set things like the arrowhead, the leader itself, the text style and the text height, among other things. Also, like my dimensions, my multi-leaders, when clicked on, act as one object. When my grips light up, I can change their, the position of the leader. I can change the length of the landing. Or if I double-click directly on the text, it opens my multi-line text editor for editing the text contained in the multi-leader. Also, if I click on any specific multi-leader, right-click the mouse and choose Properties, I can open the Properties palette, see that this is identified as a multi-leader, and I have information specifically about the leader and the text, and this can be edited directly in my Properties palette. We'll look specifically at the settings that we would make in setting a multi-leader style. In this case, I have an assembly section drawing, and I want to create multi-leaders so that I can identify the parts in the assembly. In this case, I'm going to go to my multi-leader style and open the multi-leader style manager. I'm going to create a new multi-leader style, and I'm going to call it parts. Looking at the leader format, I can set the general uh, leader type. That it's going to be straight or splined. I can set the arrowhead style. I can have it closed and I can set its size. And the leader break, that's the amount of space in between the leader and the object. Uh, my leader style, such as constraints, information about the landing, and I can set its scale, make it annotative, or set a specific scale. As for content, the type of uh, content that it's contained could be mText for a regular text, or I could attach a block. Now my source blocks, um, I have default uh, circles and squares, hexagons, or I could have my own block and the color uh, which I have set by block currently. I'll say OK and now we've created a new multi-leader called parts. We can set this current and make this our choice for adding these multi-leaders. 